Disclaimer this video is for educational and historical purposes only. Bobruis Kennels GRCH Lilac Grand Champion Lilac was born on August 2, 2004 in Belarus. His mother, Puma, was a sister of Pit Forward's champion Shket. This breeding was very expensive but worth it to me. At that time I had no money, so I had to sell part of my property. But I am a true fan of the dog sport and did not scare away from the 2,300 kilometers trip from Ukraine to Russia to Beshta Kennel's Grand Champion Zero. At the time Zero had four convincing victories. This dog had health and mind. He could easily adapt to any opponent in a pit and make a clown out of the destroyer. I knew that Zero's father was the famous destroyer of Montenegro, Grand Champions Lunja. By my calculations we were more than likely to get from this breeding, dogs that were smart, fast and that could bite. Today I have again and again been convinced of the correctness of my choice. August 2, 2004 had five puppies, three males, and two bitches. I want to mention that all these dogs were matched. After a short roll Lilac started? His was first matched at 20 months old? It was his shortest match. He won in 40 minutes. His second match was four months later. His opponent was an experienced soldier, a son of Victor's champion Iron Kid Rom. At this time Lilac went into the match in bad shape and was weak. But at one hour, ten minutes, he became a two-time winner. The next match was the longest in his career Lilac and lasted four hours. Our rivals were from Oral Kennels, who fielded a son of champ Pion Charlie? This young dog Charlie Jr. was a one-time winner. The battle began with furious attacks from Charlie Jr., while Lilac worked as number two. At 1.30 he countered X4 leg, and Charlie Jr. begins to limp. Since then Lilac begins to dominate? About three hours later Charlie's handler offers a draw. But I do not give consent. After three and a half hours of fighting the situation becomes critical. I did not want to draw, but I was afraid of losing my dog since the match has no veterinarian. I handle at 3 hours 35 minutes. Lilac flies out of the corner and hammers the opponent into the side of the ring. The match continues. At 3 hours and 58 minutes, I agreed to a draw. In this match Lilac for 3 hours 5 minutes stayed on his feet and just after 3.45 Mark lay on the floor. Sadly, Charlie Jr. died after the match. He was a high-class dog. I am sure that if he had not met with Lilac, he would champion. But this is a game where every match could be the last. The fourth match Lilac fought on the big show in Oral against Danair and his famous Grisha. This dog was famous for its strong bite and received best in show at a show in Moscow. At the start Lilac got his favorite hold, a deep grip on the ear. Grisha tried to go to the chest but Lilac would not let him. The skin on Grisha's head was being pulled down obscuring his vision. After a half-hour battle Lilac attacks the legs and shoulders. At 127 Lilac is declared the winner. Lilac stays champion. Many respected dogmen saw the match and very much appreciated Lilac. Some gave him higher marks than his father, Grand Champion Zero. Lilac left the contest with minimal damage and was open for the next match. An opponent is only found a year later. It was Sabonis, famous two-time winner from Russia. During the preparation Lilac injured a foreleg? I reduced the intensity of the workouts, and as a result his weight went up. During the eight days before the match Lilac weighed 2.1 kilos more than I wanted. I wanted to move the match back one or two weeks, but my opponents refused. Go. Sabonis goes to the chest but at 1.10 of the match Lilac is declared the winner. In autumn 2010, Lilac again went into the pit at a show in Kyiv. Opponent was a two-time winner from Greece named Kitsch Jr., son of the famous European destroyer Jolber's grand champion Kitsch. Preparations went well. On the day of the match Lilac was six and a half years, but I was sure he was 100%. The battle began and opponent's dog attacked my dog's face. Both dogs are working on the mouth and jaws. Lilac loses a few teeth but this does not prevent him from increasing the pace of the fight. After an hour he begins to finish. He works hard on the legs, shoulders, armpits. At 140 my opponent picks up his dog. Lilac became a grand champion? 
Lilac had six matches in three different countries. He received five convincing wins and one deep game draw after four hours. After number six, his fighting career ended. Today, he is open only for stud. In his pedigree, there are no random dogs. All of his ancestors, brothers, and sisters have many times proved their quality in fights. His brothers and sisters have already shown themselves to be good producers. Now it is time for Grand Champion Lilac to produce. I bet he will be remembered as his children begin their.